Welcome to Online Course Request via Student View. In this video, we're going to go over the overall steps. Logging into Student View, navigating to Course Request, review instructions, set up your six primary electives, and set up your six alternative electives. Let's get started. Step 1, logging into Student View. To get to the Student View login page from your Stafford County Public School device, Go to the SCPS folder on your Chrome browser and click the Student View link. From the Student View link, you should have access to the Parent View Student View Access page. From this page, select I am a student to access the login screen. From the Student View Account Access screen, in the Username field, you're going to type in your Student View username. In the Password field, you'll type in your Student View password and select login. If you are having difficulty or if you do not know your username or password, please contact your school's main office for assistance. Step 2, navigating to the course request. From your successfully logged in student view screen, on the navigation pane, you're going to select course request. The course request screen will open. Please review the information on the top in the blue so that you know any information that's been provided. Below you will see that your core courses have already been installed. Note that your math course is just a placeholder until the end of the year when math courses are determined. At this point you need to click on the click here to change course request button so that we can make some course selections. Step 3, reviewing instructions. With the course Request selection screen open. Please review the blue section on top for your instructions. As stated previously, all math placements are determined at the end of the year, and the math course that is listed is just a placeholder. Please refer to the 2022 2023 Program of Studies for full descriptions of electives. This is found at the Stafford County Public website under Academics slash Programs. Program of Studies. This is the complete list of those studies that are available for sixth grades. Year long courses means that it is taken both in the fall and in the spring. It is considered a course. And then semester courses are taken either in the spring or in the fall. Step four selecting six primary electives. As a sixth grader, you will have eight elective choices. You will choose six primary electives and up to six alternative electives. Primary electives are your top priorities and the ones counselors will attempt to fulfill first. An alternative elective are those you wish to choose as backups if your top priority is unavailable. If you have any stored internet data, it may show up in your search courses field. Just delete it or retype over it. We're going to search for band 9230, beginning band, and we're going to add that by clicking the add request to one of our top priorities, which will show up with our core courses. Step five, select four to six alternative electives. And then we're going to search for 8482, Introduction to STEM. And we're going to select the Add Alternative button to add it into our alternative course request options. So continue with this process until you have all of your primary course requests and all of your alternative course requests completely filled. If you try to add any more than what is allowed, you will get an error message letting you know that that can't be done because you can get your maximum amount. At this point, review what you have in your selected course request and your alternative course request. If you determine that you have added a course you didn't want, you can select the remove option and it will take that particular request out and then you can add a different one in. You can do that for both your alternative and for your primary. Alternative course requests have a priority order of 1 through 6. If you wish to reorganize that, you can. So let's say I want my fine and performing arts beginning art to be a priority 3, and my public speaking course to be now a priority 1. Just type over the priority number and it will go into its proper order. When you're complete, you can then click on the click here to return to course request summary screen 
From the summary screen, it will show you again all the courses you have now selected for both your course requests and your alternative course requests. If you've made a decision that you want to go back and change, you can always click on the change here to change course requests. Or if you're done, you click on the close option on the top. Again, here's a list of those electives. And thank you for watching sixth grade online course requests.